Hey everybody, this is Movie Versus the Podcast in Defense of Bad Movies. I am Tyler Lamb. I am here with Steve Janik. Steve, how's it going? It is going pretty good. That is good. And via the internet, I have with me Charlie Pixley. What's up, Chuck? Not again. Yeah. Not again. Dude, it's it's because you need to stop messing with all that uh those computers because you get sucked into the internet. And you have I'm, trouble getting yourself out. I was wondering why we had the tube running directly into the room today. <laughs> yeah. It, it's... Well, I see those ads that are like, grow a second penis that's twice the length. And I'm like, well, shit, I gotta see what this is all about. Yeah, because... Now, does that work if you already have a second penis? Like, will it grow you a third penis that's twice the length of both of your other penises? Uh-huh. Oh, okay. I just wanted to make sure that it was still for me. Well, yeah. that's only if you take the pill. If you take the injection, I don't know. I can't speak for that. But the injections are all fake bullshit signs. The pills are the real deal. Yeah. That's a good point. Well, I mean, the injection's mostly just silicone straight to your balls. Oh, so, <laughs> Jesus. And we, all know, and we all know how that looks. Uh, Wait, do we? So, <laughs> so on this podcast... Oh, you're usually asleep, Steve. So on this podcast, clearly we talk about movies. Um, and... <laughs> We, uh, it may not be the movies you were thinking of when you clicked on this podcast, <laughs> yeah, apparently. Yeah. Uh, uh, and we will. I will be assigning movies uh, to bad movies. Oh my goodness, is there a plane going over your... I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> over your internet, Charlie? Is there a, uh, over your motherboard? Um, I think so. Uh, and so we uh, we uh, see bad movies and try to make them sound good. I'm assigning um, two movies, uh, one per person. <laughs> Uh, and whoa, <laughs> and then also we are going to talk about things in this episode, like uh, Justice League and uh, uh, the Punisher Netflix series. Steve, uh, you said you saw all of, and um, I, I think that that's probably all we're gonna cover as far as just topics, and then also stuff we actually like at the end. So, first off, let's just jump right into the old assignments. I'm going back to theaters for you guys. You get, um, I'm really excited to see a movie it's in been, It's been a while. Charlie looked it up and saw that we haven't gone, what did you say, since August? Something like that. Yeah, which is which is pretty crazy since that was like how we initially started was only movies in theaters. Mm. <laughs> uh, but I have got two great holiday sequels for you guys. And so that means, Charlie, you're seeing Daddy's Home 2. And Steve, you're oh, seeing Bad Mom Christmas. Oh, Nice. I actually would not hate to see that. I'm gonna, that means I'm going to have to go find a way well, to watch Bad Moms and 1 actu- first. Actually, I'm probably going to watch Bad Moms 1 as well, because I've seen Daddy's Home 1, uh, so I'm going to probably watch the sequel just to have it a little even even playing field, That's fair. so that I know the characters of both equally. I'm pretty sure I've seen both those movies broken up into clips on some websites, <laughs> or something t- titled similarly. Pro- really. Probably like watchmojo.com. <laughs> Damn you, Watch Mojo! I meant more adult ones. <laughs> yeah, like WatchMyMojo.com. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, um. So, <laughs> God, I'm so great at uh continuing this. Um, yeah, those movies are the ones that. No, I'm I'm excited. I'm excited. Like I was like, man, I should. I don't. I want to see Bad Moms too. But I need to see Bad Moms. Well. Like but, I, I but when I went to see, when I went to see Thor, um, my friends you were, saw you were of, like, man, I really wish I was seeing Bad Moms no, too. No, some <laughs> some some friends of mine ran into some people who had just come out of Bad Moms too, and they were like, it was pretty good. So I'm I I'm, I'm vomit. I'm, exa- <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm semen. I'm go- oh god, oh my god, what is happening in this film? Hey, I'm the one in the movie theater in Mississippi down here. So. <laughs> yeah, I figured it'd be pretty easy to get a blowjob. I mean, to see a blowjob during Daddy's Home Two. I was gonna say, is Daddy's Home Two more or less of a blowjob experience? <laughs> well, I mean, than Resident Evil? Less I mean, you've got Marky Mark, you've got John Cena, and you've got uh, Mel Gibson. So, I mean, wa- oh yeah, <laughs> water. How do you, how waters do you keep are, it in your pants? waters are flowing. <laughs> <laughs> the 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 ground is probably just slick. Yeah. <laughs> um, There's just a cascade down the <laughs> down the stadium seating. Yep. Uh, the stairs are nice and polished over millennia. 
<laughs> water smoothing. Uh, so, so yeah, I guess we'll just pull those trailers up real quick and, and watch them. Uh, Charlie, since you're in the internet, uh, I mm-hmm. guess we're going to do the whole you yep. hear it and... Yep. <laughs> no, no, Charlie's going to pull it up for us being, up. now being master of the internet. So, Charlie, why don't you pull those trailers up for us? <laughs> yeah, Char- Charlie, since <laughs> yeah. you're already jacked in, why don't you, why don't you download the, <laughs> the right RAM for us nah, to be able I'm to watch this? right now, so I can't. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> Let's watch these trailers. So those are trailers, as always. <laughs> yeah. Um, that Batman's true two trailer looked way worse than I yeah, remember it looking. Honestly, it made them seem like pieces of shit. Yeah. Like yeah, I mean, I understand I wanting to like, because the whole the whole idea is that it's a it's it's around Christmas time, and rather than just turn it into like this weird hectic thing of of like cooking and cleaning and shopping and decorating and everything, they want to just spend the time with their family and like enjoy the holiday which i get like that that makes total sense but like the way they come off it doesn't sound that way <laughs> yeah and it seems like with the for everything from I've, that i've seen from the original movie and stuff now i could be wrong because i haven't seen it but it doesn't seem like there are any redeeming qualities at all they're just <laughs> assholes <laughs> well it seems like it seems like um who amelia kunis is kind of like on Did you the, say on, amelia kunis no no amelia <laughs> I don't know how to... Amelia do, Kunis do, Earhart. Yeah. Fuck <laughs> you. Um, like, she seems kind of, like, on the fence, and then I don't know her name, but she always plays kind of like the foul-mouthed woman in movies. Oh, are you talking about uh, the one from Saturday Night Live that said fuck? Yes. Uh, shit, what's her name? I don't know her actress's name. I don't remember. But either Jenny way, Slater. she seems... Yeah, Jenny Slater. There you go. Oh, not... No, not her. Oh, well, then I don't know which one you're talking about. Well, is that Jenny Slater? I thought Jenny Slater was... Um, or, is it, or is it Jenny Slate? Not cursed on SNL. Or is it Jenny Slate? Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. It's the, I mean, the girl that played John Raphael's sister? No, no, not her. Wasn't that her in the trailer? I don't think so. I don't know. I no, she see seen, it. it seemed, <laughs> that looked like um the the woman from, uh what, Adam Scott's wife in Step Brothers. Let me, I'm looking, the, I'm looking this up. You're talking about the, the PR lady from Parks and Rec, the Congress PR lady? Yes, yeah. Oh, yeah, she does play a foul mouth. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess you guys are right. Um, it was Susan Sarandon. It, what? <laughs> no, it's, uh, I think Catherine Hahn is, is who you yeah, guys are Catherine talking about. Hahn. Yeah, Yeah, she, with that, with her hairstyle there, uh, she had a very, and they never, like, they didn't focus on her That's that much, true. so I just thought it was Jenny no, Slate, because she, she's kind of hot right now, I guess. Yeah, she, but, but, uh, C- Catherine Hahn, you said? Yeah, she seems like the actual bad mom, like the like the really bad one. And yeah, then, and then Melia Kunis is kind of like being juggled, like kind of being brought that way by her. And then it the, the based on what I've seen just from the commercials, then then, then Kristen Bell is like the one who's like very resistant, but is just kind of yeah. like afraid to it, go back at this point. <laughs> it just it just seemed like I mean I understand. You know, if you're putting in work, like that's cool. You're get, you're doing all this work for to help uh, everybody have a good Christmas, and you're like, man, all I got was a coupon for a massage. Like, yeah, that's 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 dumb, and it is kind of funny. But then I think like, well, so you're doing all this stuff just because you expect to get like no, I shit think, back I, I in return. No, like, I don't think it's I don't think it's that. I think it's more like they put in all this effort to make everyone have a good time, and they just want people to put in at like. The the coupon for yeah. a back rub is just like the most phoned in piece of shit yeah. gift ever. No, yeah, like she, it is. they don't want something, <laughs> but they want some effort. I don't know. I mean, my my family has always seemed pretty okay with me giving them all those coupons for free hugs <laughs> every single year for Christmas. Tyler, the, Tyler, we need to talk. Uh, <laughs> I was actually talking to your family, and they wanted me to tell you that you are a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> that I'm not invited to any family function anymore. Hey, Steve. Yes. Tell Tyler he's a piece of shit. Yeah, yeah. Steve, we need you to tell Tyler something. <laughs> and I was like, uh, sh- sure. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, and then Daddy's Home too. just, uh... It's just gonna be... I don't know. I don't know. I feel like that one's just gonna be a string of awkward, like... John Lithgow is doing a lot of things that aren't masculine. Yeah. And then Mel Gibson's going to make fun of him for it. It's definitely something that... I mean, the first Daddy's Home, it wasn't like, you know... We we watched it, and it was funny, but I don't know if I'll ever rewatch it. You know, like, it was was fine, but... I've only ever seen the last 30 seconds. (laughs) Yeah, when when John Cena comes in, and they just, Uh, like... Are you you sure that's the the part of the movie that you are least likely to be able to see? (laughs) Yeah, he's got a point. (laughs) Well, I mean... 
Somebody, I don't know if it was him, but somebody just ghost rode a motorcycle. <laughs> a motorcycle came in and parked itself. <laughs> uh, but, but yeah, I, I don't know. It seems weird that they're, it's an interesting idea. I, I don't know. It, they both just seem very weird sequel. Like, you, like very phoned in weird sequels. Well, you wouldn't. It's like, oh, so oh, this movie's getting a sequel. Like, especially, and then, especially these daddies home. I was like, oh, there's. How are they, what are they gonna well, do? With you're, this you're, you're like turning to people in the movie theater. Like, did you ask for this? Because <laughs> 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 like, who, who was it? <laughs> uh, <laughs> but yeah, no, that was uh, so. Daddy's home too is is Charlie. And then Bad yes. Mom's Christmas is Steve. Correct. I'm pretty excited about this one, actually. Yeah, no, this, and, and and it's since it's like the holiday times, like we're getting a lot of like the movies that actually can mm-hmm. go up against each other well in theaters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Uh, and then uh, moving on from that, we'll just keep the ball rolling right into the old uh, Justice League talk. Cause that well, you you got there from Mel Gibson possibly directing Suicide Squad too. Remember, remember that? Yeah, yeah, that's a thing that could happen. Um, <laughs> Jesus, a Suicide Squad too. <laughs> uh, but Justice League came out over the weekend, and uh, I saw a pre-screening. Charlie, you were able to see it at opening night. Steve, you're a lame-o and I haven't seen it yet. Correct. Uh, but you're apparently. Uh, not that out of the loop, or you're you're not a uh, a outlier because this movie is has not made over a hundred million dollars this weekend. Yeah, that, that's so rough. that is at least at the time of this recording, it was projected to be like ninety six. I think. Yeah, that's what I saw this morning. Uh, which is which is not good and kind of sucks. But uh, yeah, I guess we can just talk a little bit about. Uh, I don't want to go too heavily into spoilers, but uh, we can talk about stuff, you know, Charlie. I guess stuff we thought we stuff we liked, stuff we thought didn't work, stuff you know, things like that. You know, so this is a really interesting movie experience for me because I'm still actually watching parts of the movie now, <laughs> pieces that have been coming out online. Yeah, yeah, there. I, I haven't what seen a, any what a unique experience. <laughs> yeah, I haven't seen any of the. Uh, like leaked deleted scenes or anything like that but it's i read a an entire post i sent it to you guys where it's somebody who worked uh i don't know at what capacity but basically who had seen the original cut and then also like the final cut and laid out hey this was snyder's this was whedon's this was this was added this was adr'd in this was and it is a hodgepodge of interesting i'm actually things. like that that is re- like uh, since i haven't seen it yet i'm i haven't really looked at it because it doesn't really yeah. mean anything to me right yeah, now yeah exactly but um that's that's something that sounds really interesting to me actually it, it to, like was... kind of see how it yeah what what got removed sort it, of thing. and it, it just sounds like such a clusterfuck the thing is it's really no go, go ahead, ahead charlie you, 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 all you. right the more the more that you read about it and stuff it's a miracle this fucking movie even got finished and released <laughs> yes yes and and has a coherent plot honestly yeah like it, it it's it's pretty amazing um I, I was interested to find out that like how much stuff by joss whedon um i actually liked like it, it, that was listed in that it was like yeah this was Joss Whedon's and I was like oh that's not too surprising and that worked but there was stuff like uh, the movie opens with uh, a little kid filming um, Superman and asking him questions and I I did not like that at all like that I thought that was like right away and also it was like cell phone footage so it was was it landscape it, or it, no it wasn't landscape oh. it was yeah so oh. it, and it was a little kid going like hey can we ask you questions for our podcast and they're like yeah and superman's like okay yeah sure and i'm like oh fuck you little kids how <laughs> i liked what they were trying to do with it yeah i do but. too but and and then it looked weird because of one main glaring flaw in this film which was trying to cg off <laughs> henry cavill's mustache holy moly that was uh, Charlie, you before I told you about that before the film. Do you agree now? Well, seeing, I, I've been, I mean, not, that's something that had been circulating around, yeah. like the Reddit subreddits I'm on too. Like people are like, "Oh shit, if you know about this, you're definitely gonna see it." <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think in some scenes, even if you don't know about it, yeah, yeah. I mean, it looked fucking weird Cause, as shit. Because I had kind of that. forgotten that it was a th- thing, or I, I, I just kind of, I guess when. I saw Superman, and in my mind, I was like, something looks off. I didn't connect the dots. So I was like, yeah. man, why does 
just something just kind of looks weird with his mouth. Like I feel like, oh, man, it, and then I was like, maybe that's just Henry Cavill's mouth, and especially at the beginning because <laughs> it was well in the beginning it was an angle that we don't normally see Henry Cavill from in these movies. Like it was straight on, and like at eye level. And a little- yeah. So I was like, well, it started a little bit below, then it went at eye level. So I was like, okay, maybe this is just like a weird angle, then it just doesn't look right. But then, yeah, later in the movie, it was like, man, his mouth still just doesn't look right. And then afterwards, one of my, well, Joe Groller uh, uh, from Three Wise was like, yeah, that's CGI off mustache. And I was like, oh my God, that's what it was. Uh, and it's not all I, the scenes. No, it's not. It's all the reshoot scenes. <laughs> yeah. I, out of curiosity, like. Fuck. Like so, it, I, he's it, he's he's filming this Bond movie. Like how uh, honestly, Mission Impossible? Oh, Mission Impossible. Yeah. How honestly? How long could it take to regrow? Well, no. A here's mustache? the here's the thing. First off, it takes it, it it is it would be infinitely easier to put a mustache back on him than, <laughs> than, than to CG a fake uh, the, uh, to CG one off of him. Like the word is that it's just Paramount. It's just like a power play. Kind yeah, of I, that's what I was gonna uh, say. No, it ha- it's it ha- a contract. It had you. to. It had to have been two studios whipping their what dicks if- out and measuring them and being and being like and Paramount's like hey, my I got a bigger dick over here. So what if you're gonna have to? He's gonna have to keep that fucking mustache. What if you uni- fuck you? What if Universal like sh- like basically on set. Did the reshoots like like said that they were War- gonna do Warner ADR, Brothers or Warner Brothers? Yeah, sorry, Warner Brothers. Uh, like on set, shave like shaved off the mustache, and then on their place, like attached a That's, fake mustache. I, I thought that as well. But, like just like just behind the scenes, hidden yeah. from, from everything. I, I thought about that as well because still, I mean, if if you got movie production, big budget movie makeup yeah. guys on set, I feel like again easier to put a mustache on than it is to remove like, it in it post would, it would probably be easier and cheaper to just have someone yeah. just be like okay uh make a person go with uh, henry cavill to this other <laughs> set and just every morning put a fucking mustache on him. <laughs> yeah i but at the end of the day um i i liked the movie and i loved the movie coming out of it especially just because that last ha- like third is just fucking awesome and to me, like a lot of the stuff, like a lot of the character actions, and like then the fights, yeah. and 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 that's that's something that reading that uh, cut content stuff that you kind of realize is that all of the like Zack Snyder nailed every action scene. Like every action scene was pretty much him, and they were awesome. And then Joss Whedon uh, did better with a lot of the character stuff, like dialogue, one like them actually right. talking and interacting. Which yeah, sure that that makes sense. But there were just so many things in that last final act that was so awesome uh that yeah. i was just like and then and then the two credit scenes were great uh and and without spoiling them to steve i'm sure you read it one was joss and one was zach which makes sense i mean i'm sure sh- we get to see him come to fruition though it's yeah like- yeah and at this point it's like i who the fuck knows what's gonna happen because wb probably doesn't even know considering they're sitting here with wonder woman you know getting so much praise and gal gadot being just killing it and then you know justice league is it, it, it isn't Luke doing Warm well reception batman v superman suicide squad man of steel it's it's all and- I'm I'm so torn about it in that I came out of the movie and I was like, okay, that was really fun. Uh, but part of me, I do wish that I still could have seen a completely hands off let yes. Snyder do what he wanted just to just to feel I, that consistency throughout I the agree. same thing. And since I've loved both the two previous in that trilogy of sorts, uh, I would love to see. And I'm not talking like let him do the extended cut, let him do yeah. the full thing like he wanted to with BVS. Uh, so that part of me is kind of sad, but I still really had a lot of fun with what we got. Yeah, I, I think yeah, that uh, I, agree. I might think that BBS extended edition might be a better movie, but I still had a blast with Justice League. It was great, but there are parts that's just like, it could have been so much better. As far as just even yes. some of the reshoot scenes, just they were clearly rushed because they didn't want to push the release date back. Some of the scenes are like, oh god, it's. Um, glaringly different yeah yeah some of the apparently there's some scenes that wonder woman's uh i mean gal gadot's stand-in is is in because she was busy promoting wonder woman so like oh, wow. and they were doing reshoots and so they were just like uh gal gadot and then they had her come in later and just like shoot it in a as in green screen <laughs> and they Classic. yeah but wow. uh, like some of the some of the flash stuff was like clearly like oh hey 
uh, Joss said, say this, Ezra, like, some of that was a little kind of, like, dumb to me. And More it, of his humor worked for me than I thought it would. Yeah, I, 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 I will agree with that. Um, as far as gripes with the movie overall, that opening scene, uh, I... <laughs> It 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 see I don't like it when this is just a, a trope that I don't like now be, and it's because of things like the Big Bang Theory are so into the you know zeitgeist of of yeah. media um, and it's it's that if you are a a smart person who who doesn't yeah you can't you are on the spectrum like you have so like and the flash is a hundred percent has it has to be some sort like he i i was expecting him to say bazinga at some point like it was so he was like well i uh uh, man i just don't understand people (laughs) people are slow uh like just i don't know sometimes it's like okay we get it dude and and then you know he's got rick and morty in the background i was like yeah we really get it dude like you're fucking smart (laughs) (laughs) they didn't linger on that (laughs) yeah no i know literally in the background (laughs) uh but um i do want to see more of him though i yeah i do too and i i loved aquaman as well um shame it's a shame willem dafoe got cut dude <laughs> who is willem dafoe gonna be i don't know he's volko i mean he'll be an aquaman but oh, okay. okay uh I, I mean it's a shame that and this isn't spoilers to the movie because it got cut but it's a shame dark side got cut as well because oh, wow. there's apparently a cyborg nightmare scene that they finished that got cut uh, and Darkseid was in it, or at least like they show him. Uh, that kind of sucks because that would have been cool to see. Did, did yeah, they show that, him and his omega too, beams? I don't know. With the, with Snyder's visuals for everything, most people at least agree his visuals are pretty fucking amazing. It's like, oh, I want to see Snyder Darkseid so badly. The yes. things he could do with that character and the Omega Beams and any sequence mm-hmm, with that mm-hmm. would be incredible. It's something that we'll probably never get, which is very sad. Yeah, and, and it's weird feeling sorry for, like, a, a multimillionaire, but I, I legitimately <laughs> kind of like, I mean, especially because he lost his daughter recently. Yeah. And then yeah. also, like, right before that was all the BVS stuff. And then losing he your is, daughter, then right into the Justice League stuff. It's like, yeah, man, this guy can beat cannot, up yeah. publicly hard. Yeah, it's like this guy can't t- catch a break. You know that he's been getting like he probably got a shit ton of death threats from BVS on Twitter because people are ridiculous. Yeah, and and then, and then the people like people also doing the double standard with the Wonder Woman thing. are saying like, oh, these Amazonians, you know, their costumes are like this in this movie because it's Snyder, blah blah blah. It's like all then all the people that actually played the characters, like, yeah. well, no, we had similar ones in wonder woman and this is only for this section of the amazonians and we love them because we're athletes and we can show off our bodies like snyder just gets so yeah exactly and also every time somebody has said something about that to me i'm like well i mean it's been how many years since world war one you you expect them to just create knit the same fucking uniforms for like 80 years because they're like well this we is don't what know how we... time passes on <laughs> yeah we just, on the mascara we we stick to one thing and we do it <laughs> it's like they, they could have updated it's their land fucking of uni- the lost in there they, they just they just they just fought off a bunch of nazis with sh- guns they were probably like hey we should probably rework <laughs> reevaluate our technology <laughs> i mean yeah i but and I didn't even notice that, honestly. Like, people were like, I heard the Amazonians wearing, like, sexier costumes in their den. I was like, I did not notice a fucking thing. And then somebody was complaining because Robin Wright was apparently supposed to be in it. And they're like, <laughs> she was so good in Wonder Woman. She was. They cut her from Justice League. And I was like, Robin Wright was in Wonder Woman? <laughs> I mean, she was in Wonder <laughs> Woman and she was all right. It, I thought. What'd you say, Charlie? I thought she was one of the weaker parts of it, actually. I, I mean, I, I knew that the thing is, like, I remember that story beat in Wonder Woman but the thing is, I could not have told you that Robin Wright played that character. I because it was a early on thing, right. and it was not in the movie a lot. So I'm just like, oh. I mean, she was fine in Wonder Woman, but it's, oh, not yeah. like, it's not like I'm. I didn't have like some crazed connection to Robin Wright's character in, in Wonder Woman. So hard on Snyder, it's crazy. But then, like yeah. I, that that Vero post is probably real because I, he uses I, Vero and interacts with fans. Yeah. But that he says that he hasn't even seen the movie yet. Which, yeah, which is, uh, I, yeah, I feel like he's just been kind of shit on. He's taking the blunt of a lot of stuff that he may not need to get. Like I don't know. I I would have liked to see a a unabashed like you know just hey go go at it and even 
maybe film all three back to back Lord of the Rings style so that he couldn't go back and yeah, make huge changes just because or, he saw critic or, reviews while he was going into film another one. He's like, oh man, maybe we should change it. And also, I mean, I- I'm gonna I'm gonna say something that maybe might be a little little you know sizzle like let's get the time time for some hot t- hot, Tyler's take, hot, takes. hot take fuck jeff johns dude why why is this guy getting the reins to a goddamn movie franchise when he wrote green lantern like why weren't the writings on the wall when that came out <laughs> that he like i he, and i'm talking about the movie he wrote the movie which i, I know that Although i i have heard that that was also another situation where it was changed a shit ton then yeah afterwards. and then take it up to the writers guild <laughs> but it, you know i mean you know he's done good comics though but yeah it's a different medium though i don't know uh, uh yeah I, I do i get that and, and the thing is like i it, it's another another situation where i think the movie is getting shit on more than it should um i think that i agree i know i don't agree i understand the mixed reviews um but uh and and apparently this kind of came to light recently uh that apparently um if a rotten tomatoes critic not a rotten tomatoes critic a critic can uh rotten tomatoes will pick up a critic score sometimes like you, the critic doesn't have to submit it if they're a big enough critic uh-huh. and if it's a mixed review rotten tomatoes is the ones that decide whether or not it's rotten or fresh what uh because one of the critics posted about it, he was like yeah i didn't submit anything and i had a mixed review and they said it was rotten so apparently that's a thing, which Neat. which is yeah kind of, and and that's not just Justice League. It's like you know all movies, no, no, especially yeah. movies that are like at fifty five percent. It's like okay, uh, how many of these would the critic actually be like? No, I I would say see it, <laughs> and and it would yeah I don't know. It's a interesting kind of thing that they they act like they're very bipartisan. Rotten Tomatoes does yeah. as a company when they allegedly do stuff like that. Yeah. Um, but you know, I still would say see it. I know that a lot of people are burnt, like wary because of BBS. Um, but I, I, I would definitely say somebody, especially like you, Steve, who said you didn't really like BBS that much. You thought it was okay. Yeah. Doesn't didn't deserve all the hate it got. I yeah, think. I think. I th- if we were if we were to like do stars, I think you guys were like on. Like we'll say we'll say like out of ten. I would probably like put it at a seven while you guys were probably like closer to nine or ten. Like I was like I, yeah. I thought it was especially, I thought it was pretty good, but especially like, the ultimate cut. Fuck. Oh shit, ultimate cut. I showed that to two of my buddies recently, and they're like, "Holy shit, why wasn't this in the movie?" I'm like, "Yeah." <laughs> <laughs> and and that that actually uh, because of uh, all the stuff that got cut of her story in in BVS, that's another gripe of Justice League for me is how Lois Lane is literally her character. Um, description is a hundred percent defined by Superman in Justice League. Like that's it has a, because like that's that's kind of like one of the defining characteristics of Lois Lane is that she's not defined. Yeah, and, by and, Superman and, or anything and, else. And that really bothered me in the movie. Like the fact that it was, oh man, Superman's gone, so I'm just a piece of shit. I'm doing nothing. I guess I'll just cover all these news stories about cat fashion shows <laughs> from now on. <laughs> Seriously? Like, yes. Wow. Uh, I mean, I guess they were trying to show that. Uh, yeah, I get what you're saying. And then the well, second suit, and then show that she's like sad over. But yeah, they could have showed her. Well, like they and they address it at the end, which I mean, we won't go into spoilers, but that it's just it wasn't quite like her character. Yeah, it was very. You know you're saying it was just very. Yeah, and, and which is weird because all the other characters they really did pretty much nail. Yeah, man. The I mean, yeah, Aquaman was fucking awesome. And there's that scene of all them on the ship uh, it, when they're going to the final battle, Charlie. With yeah. Aquaman, that was all Joss, which yeah. I, I mean, then good, I awesome. That was aw- that was an awesome scene. I loved that scene. If it would have been how Zack Snyder presented it, where he truly made it sound like, okay, I've done everything I want to do with the movie, but I need him to punch up a few of the interactions. Yeah. That could have been perfect. I agree. That would have been, and I'd be fine with that. But then I feel like that's just him <laughs> taking a hit for the company and really. Like you said, weren't there rumors that he was actually fired then? Or yeah, something? I, I, I've, I, there, there is pretty substantial evidence uh, that because I think even on Wonder, like some stuff, some interviews or something, where the second post production started, uh, Zack Snyder was off, like he was fired, and Joss Whedon was brought in to do all post production. 
And you can see in interviews, they're like, oh, yeah, he's just punching up a few dialogue scenes. And if you just follow the timeline, it's like, oh, it's probably like 5% of the movie. It's probably like 15% of the movie. <laughs> uh, it's probably like 30% of the movie. It's like, holy fuck. Well, yeah, well, like anytime yeah. Superman's got a creepy mouth. Well, yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's awesome watching the trailers and being able to see all the deleted scenes. Oh, yeah, dude. Great. <laughs> great. A lot of the scenes that I was really looking forward to. Mm-hmm, yeah. mm-hmm. Uh, and then one last thing that I that I that that really bothered me was there is a scene where the Flash uh, was, was running. He trips because, you know, he's, he's still new, so he, he's kind of, like, trying to get used to stuff. And he's still in his speed, still got the lightning around him, and Batman catches him with a grappling hook. Fucking what? bullshit! <laughs> what? Did he shoot that grappling hook a week ago? <laughs> Well, I mean, to be fair, he would have planned for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, he had a contingency. No, yeah, that happened, and I was like, I was like, what? And and it was one of those where like you turn to the person because I, I saw it with uh, Ru- uh, landlord Kevin and uh, Joe Groller, but I turned immediately to Kevin, and he was watching. Just already looking at you? Well, no, he was watching. The, he was like intently watching, and it was also like during the final, like the the climax. The of the movie. Mont- it was during the climax of the movie, so I was like. Okay, I'm not gonna bother bringing this up right now. I'll bring it up later. <laughs> but, but, but yeah, it was it was a. I was like, okay, but and uh, I mean, you can argue because Batman at the end of the day, but, <laughs> but it was still like which what? is which is apparently the strongest <laughs> argument the internet has ever had. Uh, but also, the Flash now is becoming popular enough that you could also counter argument with but Flash. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's true. And <laughs> uh, Speed Force, fuck you, dude. <laughs> bringing up bringing up about how how popular the Flash is now. Uh, that um, you know the old uh, Flash v Superman um, yeah speed thing. Uh, we we were just kind of mentioning that because they show, you know, obviously they show. Uh, <laughs> well, not to spoil a, a specific scene during the movie, but they show a scene. It's pretty funny that happens. Uh, oh, it's beautiful. He, I, I really couldn't have asked for much uh, more. Oh, it was hilarious. It was awesome. Um, and and. Uh, it was basically between uh, Flash and Superman where where they were like, hey, uh, you know what? Uh, they were next to each other, you know, going mm-hmm. and and so afterwards we were talking about like, oh, if they did a if they did a race, you know, they've done that all the time, obviously. And, and Kevin brought up, uh, <laughs> well, Superman's kind of at an unfair advantage because he flies the whole time, <laughs> whereas the Flash has to run. So even if it's a straight line the whole time. You know, Superman is always like he has some type of lead because he, <laughs> he's got his. <laughs> I mean, he's like, what a piece of shit. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, there was um. I, again, back to what I was saying earlier, Steve. I think that I think that you would enjoy it. And, oh, I'm I'm and, really excited to go see it tomorrow morning. And and again, it's it starts slow. I thought it, it was slow to begin, but then in strong. And then also, it's one of those where. It ends strong and makes you think, oh, it was slow at the beginning for, like, a reason. Like, it was meant to be slow at the beginning. Right. And also because it was probably also supposed to be at least half an hour longer. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, exactly. But then the WB exec was like, nothing over two hours. So... I mean that's that's how you gotta play movies. Now. Yeah, exactly. Nothing over two hours, except for Bad Moms Two, which I'm sure is going to be uh, <laughs> a three hour epic, or Thor Chuckle Rock that ended up being uh, over two hours. Mm-hmm. I said that like I'm bashing. I haven't seen Thor yet. I'm not. I'm not diminishing that movie. I just uh, I meant to see it today, but I just was too tired. <laughs> that's fair because that's part of the reason. And also, why I think I, was, I I didn't see Justice League this morning. I didn't want to drive further than the movie theater just down the street and the earliest showing was 12 p.m uh, at noon wow. I, I was like oh fuck that <laughs> i'm not gonna pay full price for this movie yeah <laughs> i'll see it at 10 uh but anyway so justice league i would say if you're on the fence even go see it it's it's uh you will, you will smile during the movie for sure yeah definitely and and that's something that i think i said again that you guys saw it was just at the end of the day we gotta see the fucking justice league together on screen Dude, yeah, it was awesome like yeah, uh, I'm really excited for all of this. Ear to like, ear, just being like, oh, <laughs> they're all there. <laughs> and it's really cool because, yeah. like, it is the it is kind of like the first big appearance of you know Aquaman and like we we had some some Superman and Batman and some some full Wonder Woman, but like w- this is going to be our first real time with and like even Aquaman's, uh, like and this is cyborg. Like, they didn't even show that much cyborg in the trailers. Like there was some cyborg, but it was like a lot like the. It was a lot more Aquaman and Flash because they're, they're yeah. like people know these characters and Cyborg's 
kind of on the fringes of like known known like DC characters. Um, I mean, he is kind of like a little bit bigger because of like Teen Titans and things. Yeah, but still, for like the main the main people, they're still kind of they don't really know much about Cyborg. So he didn't. We I haven't seen much of him at all. So I'm excited to kind of see him get fleshed out actually in the movie finally. Well, he, dude, you're gonna love his deleted scenes. <laughs> yeah, you will. Uh, they're pretty interesting. Just watch okay. the tra- Just watch the trailers. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, those two, I'm talking about other other ones too. Uh, and <laughs> and also, I'm crying. Uh, it was just, I mean, yeah, it was it was great. Like from the moment Superman came back, honestly, it was it was awesome, and it was just, uh, it, it, those moments were great. I will say. And I and I hope that I hope that at least the people that don't like it they will walk away with that thinking, man that that, that was fun to see those moments. I've never had so much fun and then been so frustrated. <laughs> like, yeah, after. yeah, it was a really Damn interesting it. feeling. I've never watched a movie where I was so kind of out of it from the start, and then gra- then was kind of like okay. This is kind of moving slow. I mean, because of a lot of the stuff, because of that fucking uh, Russian or Polish family or whatever, that yeah. all that stuff was bullshit. That could have gotten cut, except for that thing at the end, which we didn't need a backstory on the family to see. Correct. Yeah, and and I was like, I remember at one point when it was showing that family, I was like, okay, Jesus Christ, this is moving along at a fucking chug. Like this needs to go, and then and then ending with. I think I might love that movie. Like it was, it was a very weird progression. Yeah. And then obviously afterwards, you know, thinking about it, and, let, let it kind of cool. And then also, I mean, not not so much that that other people's opinions influence my own. They they probably do in a way. But reading other people's thoughts, that even if I disagree with them, there are things where I'm like, yeah, I mean, I understand that. I get that. It's. Uh, I mean, I still would recommend the movie to people to see. But I don't think I would say that I love it as much as I did walking out of the theater. Yeah. No, I get that. Yeah. Uh, and, and then it'll still be a day one Blu-ray purchase for me, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. For, I can't uh, wait to watch the finished one. Yeah, I hope that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Exactly. The, full, exactly. the I, classic WB full-length movie. Dude, I really fucking hope that they do an extended version. And just that nightmare scene alone, even if it's not even in the movie and it's just a deleted scene bonus thing. Like I just want to see that. Like, what the fuck is going? Ah, man, Snyder does so good with those like sprawling, like action scene thing. Because the nightmare scene in Batman v Superman was fucking awesome too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, eh, okay. Anyway, uh, I'm, not, I'm not. I'm not sitting here like to, I, I don't think Snyder's like a fucking second coming of Christ, but he definitely does things well. Right. <laughs> and when he or fourth maybe. And the, <laughs> and when he does those things like. They are good. Like he does specific things really good. <laughs> gotcha. Yes. <laughs> you want to talk about uh, Punisher now? Which, I mean, I, which, which I uh, conspiracy? I think that all this Justice League stuff is to uh, help brush under the rug the uh, terrible, re- uh, the bad critic response of that the Punisher is getting. <laughs> I, I thought I, I haven't heard anything. It's, I it's, thought the Punisher was awesome. I think it's currently rotten on on fresh on Rotten Tomatoes. Really? I on thought it, I movie. thought it was I thought it was really good. I, it's does he kill anybody in it? Uh, he kills. He might like they. They kind of leave it open ended. Like the guys off. Like no, he kills a fuck ton of people. <laughs> well, there's this one guy that he may have killed. <laughs> no, no. Uh, we he... didn't see that bullet come out the other side of his head. Well, there's no way to tell. If it is. Um, last night when I was watching like the last couple episodes, I like my friend who's also watching it. I almost texted him like. Frank Frank Castle's a fucking animal. Like like he is just insane at times. Like and when he when he really gets into it. But like the the whole movie is still kind of following the fallout of wait the whole movie. Which one? Are the, the whole Punisher the, War Zone or, yeah. or no, Thomas no, no, no. Jane's Punisher? The, the whole the whole series. That's, that's the title of the movie, by the way. Thomas, Thomas Jane's, Jane's Punisher. Punisher. <laughs> no, the the whole the whole series uh, is still following the fallout of why his family died, and he's still trying to get closer to the men, to the men that are responsible for that. <laughs> Wait, hold on. You're telling me a Punisher show is about him trying to get revenge for his family's death? Correct. You lost me. This is so. <laughs> I can't believe. 
I can't believe uh, Disney would allow Marvel to misadapt <laughs> such a. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so there, there's also there's also kind of a subplot where he's in contact with a friend from from the the Marines who runs basically a, a help. John Cena. No, he <laughs> he runs he run he runs I'll a help. Randy Orton. <laughs> He runs a help program for for vets and things like that. He he basically runs like a, P, a PTSD like group. Well, what kind of like weird things do veterinarians see that they need to? Anyway, so <laughs> so the the entire the entire time is like he ta- he well he ducks. he talks to him and then there's <laughs> hold on that was, we gotta acknowledge that that was good. What he said turtle shell shocked. Oh, okay. <laughs> God damn it. Very good. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, so so at the group there there's a kid that's that's experiencing some really bad PTSD and then that becomes like oh, a plot like point real later. Ty Simpkins. What? From Iron Man 3. Oh shit. Oh yeah. Never mind. Spoiler alert, dude. <laughs> he hasn't seen it yet. But <laughs> but this this guy it becomes it becomes a plot point and he kind of it can, it brings uh Karen Page back in, the uh the woman from Daredevil. And mm-hmm. and things like that. Karen, is that Rosario Dawson? No, no, it's uh, no. it's it's the girl that worked for. Oh, for them okay, in, the blonde. Yeah, yeah. Okay, is is Rosario Dawson in it? No, she's not in this one at all. Ooh, first. Yeah, unless um, she was in Defenders. In, was she in Defenders? She was in Defenders. Ooh, uh, interesting. She wasn't in this one because they the medic or the guy that that ran the uh, the PTSD clinic, he was a medic, so what, they used him instead of was Rosario she, Dawson. Was she in Jessica Jones? Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. That's how she meets. Yeah, that's how yeah, she meets because, Luke for the first time. Yeah. Okay. Because I, I uh, Jessica Jones shoots Luke in the head with yeah, a shotgun, yeah. and they have to like drill his brain open. I remember that now. Yeah. Which uh, have not watched any Netflix stuff of of Marvel since Jessica Jones. Well, I, no, I watched the first few episodes of Daredevil, and and have not continued. I re- really like Jessica Jones a lot. No, Jessica Jones is probably I've, my favorite. I've seen bits and pieces of uh, due to landlord Kevin. Seen bits and pieces of. of Iron Fist and Defenders, mm-hmm. uh, and neither really like seeing the right. the bits and pieces didn't really catch my interest. I I think that I might go in if there's another Jessica Jones season just to see yeah. it. But no, I yeah, I, I would I would it. recommend Punisher. Like it, it kind of it goes through a lot. They bring in a new mm-hmm. character that's also kind of tied up in the whole. Yeah. And the whole thing. I thought and, you were gonna say they bring in a new character every episode. Yeah, no, <laughs> no, but they, they bring in this new character, and he kind of also had his life. Like he did, his family didn't die, but he they his, got reborn. No, he by Christ. No, he, mm-hmm. <laughs> he he got away. He basically got away and got himself killed apart from them. Mm. Uh, well, they thought that he was killed, but mm-hmm. like apart from them, so they they didn't mess with his family. So. Uh, so you would recommend this for as someone who to someone who has not seen who isn't like a hundred percent caught up? Yeah, it's uh, the there was the the stuff that happened in earlier things. I I actually didn't even remember that well. Mm-hmm. So when they talked about it, I I kind of was a little foggy on it. So I just kind of no, god damn it, because I really thought one of you guys were going to bring up that that was the character in Daredevil. Oh yeah, I didn't. <laughs> Dude, Steve, we don't make stupid jokes like oh that. Oh my god! Hey, no, no, no! Wait one second. All I've watched and all I care about is Marvels and humans. So how does this affect that? <laughs> that's all I care. about. I actually don't know because I haven't seen any Inhumans yet. Wow. In okay. all in all seriousness, I have thought about jumping on into Agents of Shield again because I've heard that it got real good. Oh no, last season was real good. Like it's it's a three season slow burn <laughs> until it gets good. <laughs> no, the, the the most recent season was really good. When it was yeah. Like, and that's uh, what it, Ghost Rider, Ghost Rider stuff. yeah, oh, that stuff really interested good. me. I'm like, fuck, that kind of looks kind of cool. Ra- Ghost Rider looked amazing in that yeah. show. Yeah. Um, but back to back to this shit. Uh, uh, the, uh, over overall, it was very good. <laughs> uh, at the end, something happens that I might tell you guys, talk to you guys oh a little bit off off God. cast, but because I, I don't want to, I don't want to ruin the end. Yeah. Because it's not a big ruin, but it is kind like it is a little he bit of a spoiler. Her. But. <laughs> Ooh. But that, like something happens that I'm like that doesn't make that's why any he, sense. That's why his name is the Punish Her. Stop it. <laughs> uh, but there, like, there are times, there are times where you're just like, holy shit! How is how is Frank Castle alive? He just keeps like I haven't seen him drink any water, and he's just <laughs> constantly losing blood. Like, uh, he's just he's just like a fucking as a, fountain. As a pharmacist, that really bothers you. <laughs> uh, as a pharmacist who just got done with an entire section on fluid replacement. <laughs> 
<laughs> so, um, so how would you rank this though? Like, um, let's get it. Let's get it. Because you, have you you've seen all of them? I have seen all of them. So, so let's let's get a quick a quick ranking of so we've quick got ranking of all of them of all all the Netflix oh. series. Damn, so the Netflix still... series, I'll, I'll, I, we've got Daredevil season one and two, which we can count as two different. Yeah, things. I definitely would count them. As Jessica different. Jones, uh, Luke Cage, Iron Fist, Defenders, and then uh, Inhumans, Punisher. Right? Those are all the Netflix ones. Yeah. Okay. So I would Damn. go Jessica, Jessica Jones one, and then, uh, then gi- Daredevil the, the one. gifted. No. <laughs> then then Daredevil uh, one. Yeah. Uh, okay. So so, so those... Jessica Jones then Daredevil season one. Yeah. Okay. Then mm, probably Luke Cage. Okay. Really. Okay. I don't know. Yeah. Probably Luke Cage. Then the Punisher. Okay. Then uh, Defenders. Daredevil yeah. season two. Ooh, really? Iron Fist. Hot take by Steve Janik. Daredevil season two, really low on that list. I, it's because I don't like the second half. I think the first half is really good with the Punisher, yeah. but like the stuff that they do later, I don't like as much. There was because because it feels because it feels like I and I get what they're doing, but like it becomes a very um uh what's his name Matt Murdock Electra and then Foggy mm-hmm. Karen Page mm-hmm. and they're like they feel like separate shows that they're just trying to like put together. Because Matt, like, like the second half of the show, Matt Murdock is really, like, really far away from the lawyering. Like, I don't know that he's even there ever. And then, so, like, they're doing a lot of that. And then yeah. Karen and Foggy are doing, like, all the lawyering. And, like, it's just, it's kind of a mess. I but, like, so. but like the first half where it's um, Daredevil and the Punisher kind of butting heads and what they're doing. And then all of that, I think, is really good, but then I think it kind of falls a little a little off in, does, the, in the second Steve, half. Steve, since you've seen them all, does Black Bolt ever say anything? Um, not Wait. that I, not that I've heard yet. Wait, what do you mean? Uh, Inhumans isn't a Netflix show. I he know, kn- he's fucking around. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I was, I was really confused, because Steve, like, went with that so hard. Like, I was, like, that's not a typical Steve thing to do, to just, to just yes yeah. and someone like that. <laughs> 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 oh no, sorry. It's not a typical Steve thing to do to yes and one of us like that. <laughs> no, it's because it's because like that shit always happens and then you're like, God, it's too long. Steve, why'd you talk about that shit for so long? And I'm like, you guys just kept interrupting me. <laughs> uh so Steve talked about Punisher for too long, so we'll we'll move just on. To <laughs> um No, in all seriousness, I think that's all the uh, all the stuff we're gonna do. I think. Yep. I think in the future we might start bringing in actual, just kind of, kind of movie news and talk, like kind of headline stuff. I think I'm gonna bring in. Um, sure. Yeah. Uh, Sounds good. So, so keep that. Keep the lookout for that. Keep the lookout for that. If you were gonna fire the lookout, don't keep keep, keep him because <laughs> you will, you will need him to alert you when this occurs. Yes. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> uh, and uh, I guess let's just go right on into the um, the the most beloved segment. <laughs> stuff the, we actually like. Show, stuff we actually like. That's that's it, Steve. Since you guessed what the most beloved segment <laughs> was, uh, and not because you always go first, go first. Uh, I don't I don't know much about it because no one really knows much about it. But I'm excited to hear and see what what's going to happen with this with this new um kind of undefined Star Wars trilogy that is being talked about. The new Star Wars Battlefront trilogy by EA. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to paying $8,000 to watch a movie. <laughs> yeah. I was going to make a Battlefront joke, you dick. <laughs> it's probably going to be better than mine. <laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, I, I agree. I, I like Ryan Johnson. as a. have never seen Brothers Bloom. But Looper, I really liked, and uh, Brick, I really liked. So I'm excited to see his Star Wars movie. Uh, Charlie, what are you? What are you I doing at Google Fit? Brothers Grimsby. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> no, but but like I mean, I mean, there's there's a lot there's a lot of Star Wars lore that's been kind of just destroyed with the advent of like the new tri- like the new with seven eight yeah, nine. Yeah. So like. Just because that that's all gone now well, that's doesn't the mean they well thing. yeah but but like but that doesn't mean they can't pull things from it and create something around those characters or around those events mm-hmm. where they like kind of integrate some of those things that we know back into the storyline yeah. or or things like that because uh, I mean the, the book span from before uh, episode one even I think mm-hmm. like. 
there's there's lore everywhere in this universe, yeah. and they could just yeah. pick some of it somewhere. Like, I would like to see, um, and I know this is about to get real memey in here because Tyler's going to get all all over it, but like the set, the series of events that led to Dark Plague is the Wise hmm. only having two Sith. Like whatever, whatever, like a large Sith group happens, and like why he's like, we need to bring this down. Well, to I mean, two. I mean, you've heard of the tragedy of Darth Plagueis the Wise, right? Yes. Oh, okay, because I mean, I, it's just not a story the Jedi would tell you. So I, I know. know I, I know. But, 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 but <laughs> see, see, and this is what I was talking about. No, but, but that's but like, why I had to deliver. But, Everybody was told it was going to happen, so I had to meet. But but I would like to see more about that, like his like. We've only ever seen a system of we've only ever seen a system a tooth, of a down a, a two set a tooth Sith system, and I would like to see what it's like when there's like a big group and like how that dynamic yeah. would work. Well, yeah, I feel like it might start uh, leaning that way in the in the current uh, gen, especially yeah. with the Knights of Ren. Right. I feel like yeah. maybe that's like kind of leaning on the because the Sith were quote unquote destroyed. But then, you know, you got the Knights of Ren coming about and fucking shit up. And that's, I, honestly, I would be cool with a whole, a whole like, side thing. They said it's not going to be a Skywalker thing at all, And though, I'm fine with that. Which, which is great, but I would be, I'm, I would be cool with a little side movie of, you know, Kylo Ren coming up in the shits and, and being a little shithead and starting the Knights of Ren. Like, I'm sure we're going to get some of that backstory, especially with how long... <laughs> the last Jedi is is, is going to be it's like two and a half hours, right? Something like that. Yeah. Uh, so I'm 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 sure we're gonna we're gonna wow, see. That's a you, you really think a movie that size can be that long and still be successful? No, dude. It's, no, they have to be under two crazy. hours. No, no, yeah, it's good because it's gonna be the last Jedi part one and the last Jedi part two. <laughs> it's yeah, gonna be exactly like, like the Deathly Hollows. I was gonna say just like with uh, <laughs> Infinity Ward, it's gonna be two hour and a half long movies. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> but um but yeah no i i i'm i'm with you on that i i'm interested to see what they do disney like is where no, they decide I, to... I, I know that with uh with disney the the whole rumor of disney like taking buying a lot of the x-men stuff yeah uh i know that uh there people are, are kind of like well of course this is right when x-men is starting to get interesting again because they've got legion which was really good you know they've got uh logan which yeah, it's his last outing, but still was good. And you feel like maybe these movies can kind of like Brian Singer's getting the axe, so maybe these movies can take a different tone going forward. And then you know you've got Gifted coming out, which is which could still be good because Legion was still. And it's like oh well, they might, they're just gonna do a Disney thing and say, eh, none of this stuff matters. <laughs> it's yep. all just it's all yeah, Legion's canceled. To the ground. Uh, <laughs> yeah, like we're starting from scratch. Scor- Scorched Earth. Sorry, X Men. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like, of course, like right when, right when everything starts getting good again. <laughs> but uh, yeah, just about. So, so Charlie, so that's it just, just Ryan Johnson getting that. Just, yeah, just the the prospect of a new unknown. Well, 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 is it confirmed that it's not a Skywalker movie? As far as I know, it is. They I just, thought so too. I mean, I don't know if it's confirmed, but I, I mean, all the stuff I've heard yeah. has been it's not going to be Skywalker. Which it's interesting that they're going to do a. If that's true, it's interesting that they're going to do a uh, a a Star Wars story trilogy. Yeah, which is I wonder. Hmm. Yeah, but who knows if they're just playing some bullshit and it'll be about Kylo or something? They're like, well, he's not a Skywalker, even though he fucking is. Yeah, I, mean, I was about to say. Yeah, well, <laughs> uh, not on his birth certificate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Uh. Yeah. You're you're right. Or it's going to be some bullshit where they're like, oh yeah, Ryan Johnson gets three movies. Never mind. We're gonna replace him with uh chris miller and phil lord (laughs) to finish up his last movie uh yeah they'll give them another shot for sure yeah what's 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 the deal with that what's the deal with these these movie studios just kicking off directors near the end of a movie the han solo one i understand that shit (laughs) if if they were going too wacky with it for a a character that already has a defined character set well, and and I might be I might be circle jerking it here a little bit, but I think that it probably didn't help that they had Donald Glover cast, because yeah. because I mean, being the community fanboy I am, and and a lot of the stuff I've read about the production is that they literally did write in the script, and Troy wraps up says something to wrap up the scene, 
Yeah. And, and they would just be like, all right, Donald, what do you got? <laughs> and he would just... Holy shit. Yeah, like, it got to that point, you know, in later se- in the later seasons he was in, they'd be like, yeah, and this scene's going back and forth, and then they're like, well, we don't know how to end this, so... Uh, oh, uh, wait. Are you talking about on Community? Yeah. yeah. Oh, fuck. I thought you meant they did that for the script of... No, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> that, would be, that would be hilarious. Crazy. Especially and if they crazy. wrote and Troy reps up. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, you know lando troy calrissian <laughs> yeah no i was and I, I was just meaning because i think that uh donald glover is i don't actually i don't know how he is now i mean he's a jaded whatever he is now yeah. i don't know if he still is as much like into <laughs> filming things that aren't or his anything. own that aren't his own project but but yeah. he but he has a i mean not an improv background but he has good improv uh uh instincts, uh, instincts. there you go he always knows to just take out a a, a fake gun and say, hey, everybody get on the ground. <laughs> this is Agent Michael Scott. <laughs> um, uh, Charlie, what is something that you actually like? I was going to say Star Wars, but I the will smell of fall. Now and say that I really, really hope. I will be satisfied if the Rampage movie has at least <laughs> one scene where the monster punches open a building and somebody's in the shower and they're like, ah, and then picks him up and eats him. I'm really glad, like, as soon as you said... I'll get my money's worth, though. As soon I think as you started that sentence, I was like, I hope this is what Charlie's going to I think say. It's, I think it's funny, because out of all the comments I've read, that's probably the lowest expectation of, <laughs> of reference to the video game that I've seen. I mean, what else is there to do? That's literally uh, the I mean, entire game. I mean, the rock turning into a giant monster... Uh, I want them. Uh, I want I them mean, to I break guess. open the top of a building, Jordan. and then for some reason, a girder that runs the entire length of the building is essentially a trampoline that they can jump on. <laughs> oh yeah, duh. Or the whole movie is just a hundred levels of them destroying the exact same city <laughs> landscape. Today, Peoria. <laughs> yeah, it says it says it's in a different city, but it's the exact but it's like same exact building. Yeah, shit, if it's like, oh my god, they're they're traveling the country. <laughs> Uh, but they make it something like Seattle, so it's, each one has a space needle. <laughs> <laughs> no, you just have to you just have to scroll far enough to the left, and that's where the space needle is. <laughs> uh, um. So since everybody asked, something that I actually like. No one asked. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna repeat something that I actually like, but it's relevant again. Uh, and so it's it, it's kind of a different thing. Uh, Vice principles just ended. For good, it's second. It went two seasons, two seasons, and it's done. And and you know, I that's need to a, watch the second season. That's a Danny McBride and and David Gordon Green. They were like, no, we're do- not. Wait, not David Gordon Green. Uh, is it David, David Allen Greer? Was it Jody Hill or no? Uh, yeah, it was probably Jody Hill. Uh, or or David X Cohen. <laughs> that's a little uh, you know, Futurama joke for. <laughs> I started typing Vice Principals and I did CIV. Apparently, yeah, Civ principles. Yeah. Uh, now I gotta know this. Uh, so this is a really interesting. Yeah. Uh, no, David Gordon Green, Jody Hill, and Danny McBride, like that. Yeah, David Gordon okay. Green directed a lot of it. Um, and and in case anybody who's listening is really angry at me, I the David Allen Greer thing was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and uh, um, you're right, David Allen Greer is a joke. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was. Hey, he was the cop in Jumanji. It was. Yeah, that's true. It was great. Like it was a awesome wrap up. Like it, even I, we started the final episode, and I think we paused it and looked at one another. I'm talking about you know Kevin and I again. And we we're just like, how, how do you want this to end? Like how do you think this will end? Like what? We, like even at the last episode, we we're like, what? What is going to happen? Of course, during the last episode, we kind of connected the dots before they were revealed. You know, mm-hmm. but still, up to then, we were just like. What are they going to do? Like, what? How is the? This is the last episode. How? Like, what is going to happen? And it was, it was great. Walton Goggins is a fucking treasure. Like, I want to watch all of Justified now. Beloved and character actor. Walton I, I, I want to see uh, Tomb Raider so much because he's the bad guy in that. Like, he's so <laughs> fucking brilliant in this show. And you've seen the first season, yeah. Steve. Like, he is just so good. Like there's a, and then I I would also say that Danny McBride is fucking fantastic because he starts off as a character where you're like oh this is just uh, Kenny Powers but well, like a light, but with like a, a mustache light, but and like a, a much lighter version but then as the show goes on like I mean at the point especially at the end I'd be like oh, they're nothing alike 
<laughs> like they're not the same character. Like Dan, it's just Danny McBride does a lot of similar. Hook, yeah. He does a lot of similar inflections. Yeah, and so it sounds. Oh, that's Kenny Powers. It's like no, because it's just hard. It's hard to to separate like his iconic voice. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And at the end of the day, Kenny Powers is a piece of shit. <laughs> well, and maybe not at the end of season four, but uh, yeah. but you know, uh, Gamble Gamby is never a. He's never a piece of shit, really. He's, he's, like he's really he's, trying. He's really trying hard to be the person that yeah, he, his family and he, needs. And he gets wrapped in in a lot of stuff, and he to try to get his own. But then he's like, "Wait, no, what am I doing?" Like, it's a it's a great show, and those two seasons. Yeah, I've been meaning to check it out. Yeah, I would say, especially now that it's done, like you've got all. Uh, I mean, they're not long seasons, maybe 10, 11 episodes, yeah. and just go in and binge it. Like, and they're only and with. they're only thirty minute episodes too. Yeah, so exa- like it's exactly. it's a real real quick. Yeah. Hey, that always encourages me to watch something that's good that I gotta just get it over with. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, I mean, you could probably do it in a couple days or something, yeah. especially now that you're in the internet. You've you've got all that time yeah. to just. How, how's it been? Just absorbing <laughs> oh, information wow, instantly. <laughs> I can't believe that happened at the end. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so I would say, especially. Back when you know, uh, either Steve and I, or I said it as something so we liked. It was, it was definitely they are. <laughs> yeah. Oh fuck! Spoilers, dude. Um, but yeah, especially if you started it and saw, especially you, Steve, you fucking finished the first season. Go in on the second. Oh no, I, I've been, I've been, because well, I haven't done. had, I haven't had time. Like I'm, I'm just, I was waiting for it to all be yeah, there yeah, so yeah, I could like. Sure. And the it. first one ends on such a, on such no, a mystery. Yeah. Yes, it does. <laughs> Not to not spoil anything, cause I. But yeah, so go see that. It's it's awesome. If you have any access to an HBO, if you have any accents, accent. Wait, what? Access? <laughs> no, no, access. If you have any kind of accent, then you should. Uh, no, uh, <laughs> I don't have an. Ac- I'm from the Midwest. We have no accent. Yeah, I'm not allowed to watch. Exactly. No, uh, if you have any access to um, a torrent site, you should definitely not do that because it's totally illegal, and we would never condone doing something illegal ever. But I'm sure they're on those sites. Yeah, <laughs> that's horrible. <laughs> but which one specifically? <laughs> Uh, and that being said, I think we're all about done. Uh, just to reiterate, Daddy's Home 2 for Charlie and mm. uh, Bad Moms x Mass. Well, no, they're trying to put the Christ back in Christmas, right? So it's Bad Moms Christmas. Who is no, it? I think they're trying to put the X back in Christmas. <laughs> finally. <laughs> I'm glad somebody's finally fighting that war. <laughs> I mean, based on that trailer, that's that's kind of how it's portrayed. Is them trying to put DMX the x back. like, I've been so alone. <laughs> I guess it's the X back in back in Xmas. <laughs> Bye. Movie Versus is a production of Three Wise Media. For more information, check us out on Facebook.